헌팅턴 라이브러리의 그 박물관, 아까 보셨던 이런 그 아트 갤러리 외에도 12개의 다른, 다른 팀의 가든 정원이 있는 거예요. 얼마나, 얼마나 부자였던 거예요. 아, 조금만 텃밭이라도 하나 있었으면 좋겠다. Head out to the garden. This area was all orchards originally, this um, lawn here. The ranch was a commercial venture. when Henry Huntington purchased it. But then he started developing parts of the grounds that weren't used for agriculture into botanical collections. And one of the first areas he did that in was the desert garden. Um, it was on a rocky slope, the soil was poor, so it really wasn't well suited to um, agriculture. But as a landscape for desert plants, it was perfect. So Henry Huntington was not originally interested in cactus at all. He mm -hmm. had had a bad experience with one and just said, no way. Um, but his um, uh, grounds superintendent who kind of managed the ranch persuaded him that it was um, a wonderful um, uh, group of plants to kind of focus on as a collection. So they said, okay, we'll start small and do maybe a half an acre and then maybe an acre more. and. Um, He was just so impressed with the diversity of the plants, the unusual shapes and the textures, and as you can see, it's really uh, a unique landscape. This area with these golden barrel cactus is pretty impressive because there's so many of them and they're so um, massive. And the way they're beautifully interplanted with these uh, pale blue agaves um, makes a nice contrast. People love this garden not only because the plants are so unusual and the colors are so um, unexpected, but because um, they can get ideas for how these plants can look in the landscape, you know, maybe in their own gardens at home. Um, visitors are increasingly interested in drought tolerant plants and you just can't get much more um, water wise than um, plants that are native to desert regions of the world. And they are very distinctive in the landscape. They're just, um, they really make a statement. Yeah, 여러분, 아니, 사막을 언제 가보겠어요, 사실. 사막에 나온 각가지 종류의 식물들이 여기 있는 거야. 아니, 이런 걸다 어떻게 모았을까. 정말 신기하네. 이게 꽃가루인구나. 이게 다, 이게 다 선인장 꽃. These golden barrels are shaped the way they are, kind of like an accordion, so that they can expand to hold more water um, in times when there's plenty of it, and then they can contract and conserve when there isn't any. Barrel, 이렇게 통같이 생겨서 이름이 barrel이구나, golden barrel. 근데 이렇게 주름이 많은 이유가 그런 그 더운 지방이니까 수분 증발 막고 또그 온도 조절하고 참. 참. Now this agave is in bloom. See that tall stalk that looks like a piece of asparagus? And every once in a while, they send up a bloom. So this is what it looks like when it's in flower. What? They don't do it annually, mm. but every uh, few years they, they will bloom. And some of them get very tall. This is a not a very large variety, but 야, 이게 사막에 있는 식물이니까 특이한 게 엄청 많네. These are wonderful. They kind of look like Mickey Mouse ears. Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> look like. And aren't the colors wonderful? I mean, who expects to see colors like that? And then we've got them some in bloom over here. And these shapes. Look at those wonderful shapes. It's really like no other garden because everything is different. than you expect. I think you have all your garden here. This is your own garden. You worked here like, 30 years. I do like this garden just because it's so different, you know? <laughs> And people will sometimes say, 
um, what's the best time of year to see the gardens? Uh -huh. Or what's the best time of year to see the desert garden? Well, there's no bad time, you know? It always looks interesting, even if there's nothing in bloom. The shapes, uh, the textures, the colors are so wonderfully diverse and kind of inspiring. There are a number of, of cactuses um, that bloom at night. Mm -hmm. So they have these great big white flowers that open up at night and they're pollinated by moths. Um, so they all have their ways of um, making the most of uh, the situation that they find themselves in. So they're, they're wonderful adapters and beautiful. These shaggy things right here have um, a wonderful teal blue flower. They're finishing up, but there's some over here that are... I mean, look at the color of these flowers. Whoa. Boy, yeah, it's kind of a dark blue green. These are puyas. They're from Chile, South American. Um, and this is their time of year to shine, although I think we caught them about a week too late. Um, but the colors are just amazing. Wow, it's really Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can get some. This is a, a green. You can see that these are pollinated by bees. <laughs> 지금 다 저거 보면요. 제가 찍어 드릴게요. 얘네 다리에 다 이렇게 꽃가루가 묻어 있어. 왜? 왜? 어. 어, 예스. 야, 이거 숨은 그림 찾기 같다. 숨은 그림 찾기. 여러분. They love puyas. Like and the birds. Fruit? Well, I think they're they're eating the the seeds or the pollen, <laughs> and they're probably eating the flowers themselves. Huntington Library, 그 전에 오셨었나요? 아니요 오늘이 처음이고요. 여기 가든 이쁘다고 그 친구가 소개해줘서 한두 시간 정도 걸리는데 아침에 일찍 일어나서 아기랑 같이 왔습니다. 네. 오늘 오시니까 어때요? 어, 아기자기하게 잘 만들어 놓은 것 같아요. 뭐 선인장 같은 것들, 샌디에고에서도 사실 볼수 있는 것들이었는데 또 조경을 좀 색다르게 해 놓은 것 같아요. 아, 네. 이분이 제일 힘드셨을 것 같아요. <웃음> 오, 오니까 어떠세요? 아, 추가 좀 맛있게 잘. 알겠습니다. 고맙습니다. 네. 고맙습니다. 이게 여러분이 상상하시는 그 이름 그대로예요. 올드맨이. Sometimes I see people taking pictures of those and then adding little googly eyes to the pictures. A lot of these plants have a great deal of personality. 아, 이거 좋다. 이거 마음에 들어.